Hey guys, what's going on? Michelle Marie here for Clever Music. There is no doubt that you've heard their music on your favorite primetime TV show as these guys dominate on the tube. Most recently, Carolina Liar has been making waves with their new single, Drown, which can be heard as a promo for Hawaii Five O on CBS. See what they had to say about all the amazing TV exposure they've had over the past few years. I mean, if anybody watches TV, you guys have heard these guys play. I mean, you guys have been all over as far as, far as like the TV exposure. The TV exposure yeah, has been the biggest been thing for us. It really has, like the new, the Hawaii Five-O. Yeah, Drown uh, is your new single. The Oweo. Hawaii... Yeah, Oweo. Yeah. And um, it was a promo <laughs> for Hawaii Five-O. And now you just played it for us now. Yeah. How does that How does that work with you guys? I mean, you seem to be the band that people just want to grasp for their for shows. The shows. Yeah. I, it's kind of cool because with CBS, what happened with that one was um, now we're an independent band. We, we don't have any label affiliation. Okay. They actually contacted us directly. They couldn't figure out how to get a hold of us, and so they actually contacted our manager. They called Jeff's like answering machine. It's like, hey, we we just heard the song by the guys. Um, we think we could use it for Hawaii Five O. We're like, are you sure. kidding? That's that's our single right now. We need that kind of exposure. Bad. We really need that. Mm -hmm. And we just, of course, we we first just let it go and let them use it the way they wanted to. And then they gave us an, a chance. We're like, hey, since this is a new album for you guys, why don't we uh, try and incorporate some of the album artwork into the promos? Wow. And so they did. And they just put that in, and that's really helped us kind of get this, you know, the fact that the album is back out again. Mm -hmm. So that's been a really good one. And that thing with TV is crazy. I think what happens is these songs are kind of so they're written so visually, mm -hmm. lyrically. They're such visual songs that they translate really well for scenes and things like that. For somehow there's some emotional content that you know can just kind of attract itself to to moving picture really well. Yeah. Or maybe it's generic. I don't know, but it, we're happy. We take any sort of work we can find. Yeah, so. I mean, show me what I'm looking for. I think everyone's cried to that song. Really? I think so. It's just pretty emotional. That's yeah. We've been having all these kind of crazy debates over that song, where it was at one point people thought it was a really religious song or kind of a spiritual song in that nature and it's it's crazy because that's never what we intended it to be mm -hmm. but it's one of those things too when you realize once you've written a song it's really not yours anymore right. and it kind of becomes whatever that person is. yeah and that's a really beautiful thing because yeah. then it becomes like their story and for you know for four minutes you get to become a part of somebody's life mm -hmm. that you've never met before and you really kind of play to that moment you know okay. there could have been some big moment in their life or or anything, you think back to those, like for us, you think back to being like in high school or something and maybe a first kiss or just going out and right. those moments where you hear a song for the first time, it stays with you forever, it becomes a memory. Okay. So that's a real gift, like those songs playing that kind of thing in someone's life. What TV show do you want to hear them on next? Make sure to sub our channel and leave your comment below. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Clever Music. Thanks for watching.